Hey, um, in this tutorial I'm just going to be showing you how to unwrap uh, a model and apply texture to it with a UVW unwrap modifier. I'll uh, just show you a few of the tools to to uh, to do that. Um, I, sh I should apologise really, this should have been out uh, last week or a week before. Um, I, I just didn't have the time to, to get any anything done so let's just start, um, I'm just going to unwrap this uh, model that I found on my computer I modelled this um, a couple of months ago uh, for a project um, so I'm just going to apply a normal texture to him because he's got a V-ray on him at the minute um, okay never mind that okay and you'll see that I've got um, I've got turbo smooth and I've got a symmetry on him so if I turn them two off we've got this um, now I don't really like unwrapping um, models, I don't, uh, it's not my favourite thing, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so if you if you got a model like this and you got two of smooth and symmetry on, you want to pick the editable poly and uh, while you have selected that you want to put a, a UVW unwrap modifier on top of that. So it's that, it's there in the stack, it's on top of the editable poly, it's beneath the symmetry and two smooth. If you want to unwrap this um, with symmetry on, so if you want to unwrap two arms, two legs, then put it above the symmetry. If you want to unwrap it with turbo smooth, which you shouldn't really do, then put it above that. Um, so select as we'll poly on UVW unwrap, and there we go. Now, first thing you'll see is a bunch of green lines. Now, these are just showing you the seams that are in your model, and if you want to see what it looks like unwrapped, what you can do is in the uh, UVW unwrap click the edit button and it'll show you a big window with a bunch of lines. Now it does give you a checkered pattern. Um, now the checkered pattern is used um, to see um, seams a lot easier so if we pick the checkered pattern it puts it on our model and we can see where the seams are and where they're not and you can use these checkered patterns um, to determine whether your model is unwrapped well or not and you can see stretching, it, the, they're used for stretching as well you, know, you can see the uh, stretching in the mouth that means the uh, UVW map isn't mapped properly and the stretching on the hands, you do see a lot of this stretching in games uh, typically when it's up mountains and stuff like that and that's because they've not been unwrapped um, so to do, the thing what I find is uh, the checkered map on the background is a bit off-putting, you can't really see much, so I'm just going to go up here and we're just going to remove the texture and we can see. Now what we can see is a bunch of lines, that's our model unwrapped um, in its default stage. Um, now there is a lot of plugins to use to uh, to unwrap with. Um, there's an unwrap tool which is a free plugin. Um, I'm not I'm not quite sure what it's called now. I've not used it for a while, but it, it's uh, it just adds another toolbar here, and it's got a lot more tools. So if you get a chance, um, get that. I'll I'll put it on the YouTube thing. Um, but this is just with default Mac stuff. Um, so what we've got down here, here, we've got some selection modes. We've got vert, edge, and we've got face. Um, we've got a little plus and minus. What'll come in quite handy. And we've got select elements. If your model is selected into elements, then we can do that. And then we've got the uh, normal soft selection. And uh, so we'll I'm not going to go through all of these tools. Um, navigation is pretty much the same as just Max. Um, I'm using a pen at the minute, so I'm holding Control and Alt to zoom in and out and pushing my pen up and down. Um, also, I can use my uh, tablet wheel like this. Um, and it's the same. Keep hold of. Uh, middle mouse button to move or right mouse button for your quads and you can get your stuff so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to face mode I'm going to select all of my model and I do point out that it does update in real time as well so if, if I select this bit of my model I'm not selecting the geometry I'm selecting the UVW map um, and it's important to point out that if I edit anything in the UVW map it doesn't edit my, mo my model which I know some people get quite confused over. Okay so what I'm going to do is just going to select it all so it should select all of them and I'm going to flatten it using a series of Max's flattening tools. Um, 
Now if you go to mapping at the top, next to tools, you can see flatten mapping, normal mapping, unfold mapping. Um, many people use flatten mapping, normal mapping um, is it's, it's not bad, uh, unfold mapping is for solid geometry. Um, but what I'm going to do just for this is I'm just going to stick it into flatten mapping to get it into a few parts just to, just for illustration purposes and show you how a default flatten map works. Um, now you'll see you'll, you can make out the leg, the, uh, that's a front part of the body, that's uh, the, probably the back or the front doesn't matter. Um, and the hands are all in bits and things, the smaller the geometry is it's going to be in bits, like the head is in a thousand billion bits you can probably point out there's one of the eyes, well there's the eye. Um, but to map this would be incredibly difficult and it would be a lot of welding um, things together so what we're going to do is it all depends on where you want your seams on a model. Now a character's seams um, they can be anywhere you like um, but depending on what you're using your, your character for and what shots you know it's, it's important to have storyboarding as well so you know what shots you're going to be using um, because you will always have seams but you can hide them really well um, on this model um, I'm not particularly bothered about where to put the seams on this but I will put a seam kind of here underneath the arm because the arms are going to be down quite a lot so a seam you wouldn't see there and I'm going to try and not have a seam here and for the body I'm going to try and have a seam maybe at the back and for the head the same at the back I'm just going to try and make one seam for every limb I'm going to unwrap this uh, limb by limb so I'm going to do leg, arm, feet, hand, body and then head um, so let's have, a, let's have a go at this Okay. what I find really useful is there's all these tools and stuff in Max, but the simplest ones are usually the best. Um, so you've you've got all your others in the modifier. You've got the other normal um, mapping techniques. So you've got planner map. You've got quick planner map. Um, you've got cylindrical, spherical, pelt. Now pelt, I'll go through in a minute because I'm going to be. I'll, I will be using pelt, um, box mapping, spline mapping. I'll just show you what this does. I um, just want to point out. Um, the flatten mapping. If I bring out the flatten mapping again, uh, you've got a face angle threshold. Now, if we put this up, what it does is it it makes a fewer parts. So if I put this up to 90, press OK, it'll kind of unmap it like that. Now that's no good because we've got a three-dimensional geometry. The point of mapping is we get everything flattened. So the easiest way to do this, and I'm just going to start on the arm. Um, an easy way to do this is just select the bits that you want to map in your geometry. It's hard to kind of go in here and select what you want. And you should select just the front. Um, now I'm just going to select the front of the arm. Because if you think about this, I just want it to be as if it's been folded out. So, like this. Now the thumb, I think I'll have the seam kind of there, so I want to select all the thumb. So I want the seam to kind of come in here, like this, and then round, and then down. So I'm just check that it's in the middle, yeah, just check the bottom, and the bottom I've missed a few there, let's just get rid of this. There you go, you can see, so I need this there we go, so we've got the front half That's nicely done in half there um, somebody's skyping me ok right so now we've got the front of the arm selected, what we're going to do is just going to use a really simple planner on it um, you can do a normal planner or a quick planner now the quick planner um, calculates it by its its own average normals which you can see there um, so planner might not always work so but if you do a quick planner it's great um, now that's kind of okay it's not bad 